I'm Philosophical. This is my channel, and we are healing. Well, we're doing a lot of shit, right? We're healing, we're laughing, we're exposing. We're just having fun, you know? There's no reason not to still live your life and actually, like, have fun during these times. I see it this way. Number one, if nobody told you today they love you, I love you. Um, but this is how I look at it. I'm grateful that Kanika Jenkins warned me about the possibilities of this happening. And I'm grateful for the fact that in my situation, I'm the first one that they can't get. I'm also grateful for the fact that I have something to do with putting an end to this because what these, for those that are still people dealing with, that are hanging with these people because some of them are just soulless beings and some people just got themselves caught up and they don't know what to do. What would have happened if it wasn't for people like me and others exposing them is this would have kept going on and then eventually you would have been trafficked by the same people you were working with when they ran out of people um, to put on the shelf. <laughs> Right? When they run out of merchandise, what did you think was going to happen? You think they were just going to stop? So they were just basically building their own world that would have eventually affected them anyway. Mm -hmm. So you're all welcome because I'm probably saving your life too. For those of you who still have your soul left. Uh, hi, vibrational beings only. Please, let's get into seeing like what, what is the messages for today? What do we need to know? Joe Dirt, dude, where's my car? So somebody's just like, um, a, a, a dingbat, you know? Joe Dirt, and dude, where's my car? Like, that that screams dingbat to me, okay? Wasted away again in Margaritaville. Yeah, they're just like, their brains fried. All right. <clears throat> okay, let's see what's going on. Now, Joe Dirt's never a good thing to start off with, okay? I mean, somebody could really be rocking a mullet and shit, but... Or that's just the way that they they are. It's just their mindset, okay? There's my Hitman card. So that could be the Joe Dirt. That could be the one that's like... I was picking up, too, that somebody's something's going to happen to somebody's car. Dude, where's my car? Something's going to happen with somebody's vehicle, their engine, transmission, something like that. And that's going to be... That's how somebody's going to know that... The energy they were sending out to somebody coming back is real because I feel like it has something to do in some way, shape, or form with the energy they were sending out, okay? And there was light in my life. Now there's only love in the dark. Damn, my guys just kick it. They, I mean, it, they're literally starting already. So once upon a time, this person specifically, I guess, that I'm pulling on, or these people had light in their life. And now it's just like dark thoughts, dark love. Just darkness. Somebody just slipping in the darkness. Uh, light beings only. Can you show me yes? Thank you. Can you show me no? Thank you. Is this year 2025? Is this year 2022? Thank you. Would this happen to be the light attribute of this athlete card? Okay. Is this the hitman we're talking about here? I guess they want to talk about this today, right? <clears throat> Excuse me. Okay. All right. Light protection while we pull these messages, please. Let's find out what's going on. I'm always in the dark. Wow. I really need you tonight. I, I'm telling you, man. Somebody needed you. Somebody needs somebody. Okay. All right. Botched. So that show botched is on. Something got botched. Something that these people were putting together got botched. Okay. Let's see. Somebody's experiencing delusions. 
I feel like they're 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 just very moving very slowly, or it's like the, um, they're second. They're trying to be careful with every step they every step you take, because they know they're being what I'll be watching you. But I feel like they're literally they're showing me somebody who's like literally moving super slow like molasses because they almost know they could trip up with something because they understand something that's happening with the energy. Yeah, it could be a Virgo, but. I think this is just saying that this person is just sitting there um, in, in like depression, like uh, your chance to prosper. I feel like they, there's, you know, the, I don't think that a lot of these people are going to stop until they're not here anymore because they're not being controlled by their old self anymore. But they're starting to realize, and even the demons in them that already knew that they couldn't take you down, because the whole point of this was, if we get the chosen one, great, but we want your fucking soul. Six minutes exactly. We, we actually, like, we're going to get something. And that's why they were so hell-bent. But I'm telling you, the demons already knew that they could not get you. So it's almost like, were they, did they sign their own contract for their own life? It was just a beep outside, so okay, long lost family. So you guys may be uh you guys may be reconnecting with some family members that didn't have anything to do with this. And I wanted to show you guys something on that crossword. And I know that the shit's backwards on here, right? But you'll be able to see. I wanted to show you some of the words I just looked at. H I V Rapid, right? Rascal. I was just looking real quick and shit, right? Uh, I mean, I'm sure wireless. What else? Farm. Well, I mean, that could be like a lot, right? That farm shit. But uh, they got like clone farms and shit like that. All right, let's see what's up with this. I feel like you're going to be, uh, some of you are going to be reuniting with family members that maybe didn't believe you when you said but this is not going to be for everybody this is for people who know that like you you straight up had um people send a hitman a multiple of them towards you okay so that this is going to be for you guys thank you yeah i feel like this hitman so this could be you staying to yourself focusing on your beauty uh living right maybe uh your celibate here single for some of you and, and I feel like that's why the delusion is happening because I feel like that for whoever you are this hitman was supposed to offer you something whether it's something to drink like to to, to gain your your um your trust and to either offer you food or something to drink or if you were doing drugs they were going to put something in your drugs or we are something okay or offer you something with a spell attached to it something <clears throat> which you wouldn't oh transplant this person may have actually gotten some kind of diagnosis that they need some kind of transplant or this person is a transplant okay for those of you who know what that means but uh completely transforming he just said so this is why this is you completely transforming so it's like the whole the whole operation got botched that's why i'm seeing botched happy death day somebody else may pass away today the last time i saw that somebody passed away that movie on the cable guide happy death day yeah, and I feel like if this is why this shit got botched, because one, a lot of you already know this, and because you're looking at it, like, because some of these uh, hitmen were, they were just sent, some of them were actually sent to physically kill you, 911, <laughs> I'll say 911, but others of them, um, I know which one it is for me, but for some of you, they were just sent, and maybe both, to watch you keep an eye on you to see if the suicide spells were working you were supposed to go crazy and and you they, they really didn't understand when you were telling them i'm supernatural because they laughed about that and you know i mean it's i go back and forth with feeling like it's a shame and and this okay and that's healthy that's actually healthy um emotion okay i don't lie about what i'm feeling okay i don't i don't i don't say um all the time that like I don't give a fuck because that would kind of make me just like them I have healthy uh emotion where sometimes I say that I'm like well right back at you and then other times I'm like 
You know, it's a shame because I don't really feel like these people knew exactly what this outcome was going to be, but you guys did like we did. And that's another reason we were sent here to save 10, 10, their souls, man. It's like, they see you saving other people's souls, but I'm pretty sure that you guys were the first ones on the list though. If you really want to think about it and get technical, because we're the ones that told you guys, I wouldn't do this, but they took that as a threat and they went with it and, uh, they don't like threats. It wasn't a threat. It was us warning you. You can't win this game, you know? We created this game. What you talking about? So, let me see something. Let's see. Tell me more. Tell me more. Powerball jackpot. Somebody needs to play the Powerball. And when you win, don't forget me. Look, Empress. This is you, Empress. And this Nine of Pentacles and Hermit energy. You're just sitting in here. You're not going crazy. You have your wits about you. You're taking care of your health. You're fucking beautiful with the Nine of Pentacles. A lot of you are celibate, single. You're just, you're focused on yourself. We didn't start the fire. Thank you, spirit guides. No, we didn't start this, man. 11-11. We didn't start this. It's like this shit's been going on for a long time. We came here to stop this. It's like, what do you think this would have been like here if we didn't come here to do this? We came here to save this planet period and i knew this from like the very beginning of my awakening it's like my higher self knew i have something big here to do i even sent my son a text when, when i was in that trap house right um and i was i was not getting high and i was talking to him via text message and then they started doing spell work on my son and i's relationships and now their kids are fucking suicidal and they're getting locked up and they're drug addicts and mentally ill and shit and that's what happens when you try to come in between a fucking mother and her child assholes so, uh, but anyway, we were just talking and he's awakened, you know, my son is awakened. Um, I'd like to believe that I have something to do with that, but he could have very well just been, he's just, he's just aware. He's smart. And, um, I said, you want to help me change the world? Twelve, twelve. And I mean, I don't even really know if I got a response, but when I said that period to whoever I said it to, I meant it a hundred percent. I meant it right. I'm serious as a fucking heart attack. Uh, somebody may actually have a heart attack. Uh, yeah, supernatural. Every time I look over, there's something different over here. Tech check. Some of you guys need to check your, your devices and change your passwords. I changed all my passwords again yesterday. It's not a pain in the ass when it means, um, there's a lot of people, especially Dingbat, number one, working with, uh, people in, like, Nigeria, like, other countries to hack your shit, okay? Um... You're just gross. Oh, and I wanted to, I want to ask something here. I just want to see how like how this works, okay? For for anyone who like watched that video, homicide. He just said light beings only. You know which video I'm talking about. If people watch that, are they now under a spell or under attack? I'm trying to tell you guys. I don't understand like why it's so difficult, right? So you, you're probably going to be getting spiritually attacked for any of you who watched that video um, that she he put out yesterday. I'm just going to leave that at that, okay? I can't get down. There's nothing that that individual can tell me. I know more. I'm, I'm gifted. They're not, okay? I give actually valid, loyal, reliable information. They don't. They're exposed. They're trying to cover up themselves by trying to put a title on the same shit and expose other people. It's themselves. I promise you, I'm not going to lead you down the wrong path. But for people who watch my shit, pick, you can't, you can't be here with both. You can't. I don't want you here. And I'm going to call karma on you if you are coming here and you're also watching that thing, okay? Um, you're going to have to pick one and you pick your demise if you want to, all right? I don't want you here, okay? I don't need you here. All right, let's see. So you're rejecting, right? And they, they can't, let's just say they wanted like you used to drink because that's what I'm getting from this. Like you used to drink or you're like, I, I don't need anything from you guys. I'm in this independent. So you don't need anybody's food, divine feminine. You don't need anybody's drink. You don't need anybody's weed, drugs. If you are still getting high, you don't need cigarettes from anybody because they used to dip cigarettes and fucking um, graveyard dirt in that house and shit. And it was like the ends of cigarettes because I used to smoke their shorts and shit and they picked up on this so they used to put 
put the ends of their cigarettes. They used to dip them in um, graveyard dirt. I knew what they were doing. Uh, it, it's, it was comical. It was. It, it was like I was leading them into the trap they thought they were leading for me, like me into. <laughs> oh, shit, man. <clears throat> they wanted you to starve, you know, they would hide food for me. Um, they would figure out what I wasn't eating. And when I started saying I wanted to go vegan, they bought extra meat in the house. Motherfucker, I ate meat and it pissed them off. Uh, then I started playing the mind game and I acted like I didn't like things so that they would buy the things I liked. And it was like, I started beating them at their own game. I started picking up what they were doing. Okay. They started hiding toilet paper and shit from me. And it's like, there goes my hero. That's right. I'm a hero. I'm people's heroes, bitch. There ain't nothing you can do about that. Okay. Watch her as she flows. Yup. That's right. I want to be a hero on this planet. Not a fucking zero, bro. <laughs> okay. And that's exactly what I'm going. I am. And that's exactly what you are. All right. So now they were, uh, they were just, they were just doing too much, but it was comical to me because I would just walk around the house like I owned the motherfucker, okay? Unbothered by the whole thing. And it was like making them crazy then. I can't imagine where they're at right now, 16, 16, but you, you guys couldn't once get me upset to feel worthless, to feel down, to feel desperate, to feel suicidal of, of all of them. Are you fucking kidding me? None of your shit. Was, they've been doing this for years now. Nothing has worked. But I said, you're going to see exactly the shit that you put out. All right. You're going to get, you're going to get a taste of it. And then some, yeah, you're rejecting, you're rejecting this, this magic that they're sending towards you. They're trying, cause you're balanced in your life. Okay. You are, this is giving me the energy of like uh transmuting energy. You're good with this shit. They send you this negative energy. You balance it out and you send it right back into the universe and put positive energy. And then the universe sends that shit back to you as a manifestation. That's the way it goes. Neighborhood wars. So you, your people in your neighborhood could be fighting with each other because conflict magic is going back. And you know that these stupid fucking weak ass gangs or wannabe gangs, they do this shit. That's what they did to Kanika. Remember that one video where they were all at the party and they realized that what they were chanting, it was a chant and they were all saying it over and over and over again, right? That's kind. That's what these weirdos do, right? I feel like conflict magic is going back, you guys. And I feel like this is how they wind up literally taking each other out. Some of these people are going to wind up killing each other. Others are going to wind up turning and realizing, holy shit, if I had the chance to get out now and rat these people out, it's going to be one person at the end that's going to be taking all the fucking heat, okay? And I warned them about this. I've told you guys everything else has come true. I'm not, even my dingbats, I'm not going to steer you guys wrong either. <laughs> I'm not. I don't feel like I have so far. I feel like I've told you everything that's going to happen to you guys and everything that's not going to happen to me. And I've been, and everything has been true. You got, your, your ops are going to turn on you. Okay. And you're, somebody is going to be taking all of the fucking heat or a few people are going to be taking it all. I promise you this. 1818. See if I'm wrong. Okay, I would change your life now and change it for good and get your fucking selves an exorcism, damn it. All right, get yourselves an exorcism. So let's find out what else is going on. The doctors, yeah, I feel like these people, they're getting doctor uh, diagnosis, they've triangulated you again, right? They're getting diagnosis, they're sick, Wonder Woman, that's right, that's right, you listening to her, okay? I've never been so confident in who I am and how powerful I am and how much of an amazing presence I am on this planet uh, until about a year ago, actually. <laughs> but I haven't really started speaking it out into existence with confidence and fucking passion and conviction the way that I do now because I know how amazing I am, all right? And you, you guys need to as well. A lot of you do, but there's still those of you that are having problems with this because we're told all our life with the gaslighting that we're not that vain, be vain if you have to. I'd rather be vain than weak. Look, triangulate you on the run for insurance money, okay? <clears throat> oh, I'm telling you, for a lot of you guys, you being, you being celibate, it made it difficult for these people to send uh, different types of men and women towards you to either do sex magic on you or to party with you before you guys have sex. Like, even if you guys, like, didn't have sex, it was still a way, like, for you, this, for me, celibate means, like, 
you're not interested in just one night stands or just meeting somebody and going back with them and hanging out later, right? Uh, like maybe you used to, and that's making it really difficult for these people to put something in your drink when you go to the bathroom or for you to meet at the bar or the club. Like be careful going on. I wouldn't even be dating right now on any kind of dates, motherfuckers. None. There's a cleaning going on, you know? So it's like for any of my subscribers that's dating, like... You're putting yourself in a compromising situation, I promise you. You're targeted at this point. They're going to send certain people towards you to be that Prince Charming in the beginning and love bomb you because they're trying to set you up in a trap. Please stop dating. I mean, un unless you've known this motherfucker for like, but I'm, I'm iffy about that shit too. I mean, I don't date because I have a dude, right? But I know that they're cloning people. So it's like, is that even really who you think you knew before, man? It's like, you really got to be careful. The eyes are important. All right. No highway in the sky. Yeah, these people are not going, uh, if you want to call it heaven. I don't feel like it's an after place at all. I feel like it's here. Everything is actually right here, right now, right? As above, so below. I mean, you could go by that if you want, you know, but um, I'm kind of like not going with anything anymore that has to do with Christianity. And that's like heaven and angels and... um. Ancestors, guides, absolutely, fucking lootly Superpowers. Big Bang Theory. That's me now, okay? <laughs> the powerful gods, the beings in the sky. That's me now, 2121. Somebody with a white car is on the run here. Because of this insurance money shit, okay? Dude, where my car? Okay, so dude, where's my car? So they could be like hiding their car or wanting to hide their vehicle. Somebody could have stole somebody's vehicle for insurance money as well. All right, let's see. A, a deadbeat dad, divine feminine. So this person was a deadbeat father. I'm going to pull some actual tarot cards. If this person flattened your tires, okay, or had something to do with flattening. Now, this could be divine feminine. This don't have to be your children's father who's this deadbeat father. This could just be like this dude you were dealing with. Some of us were dealing with a supposed friend. Some of us, it was an ex, you know, multiple people. But I feel like this particular one they're talking about, like, you know who this is and they are a deadbeat dad. All right. So this is for the divine feminines who were dealing with someone that was a father, but an absent father because they were more interested in, uh, banging broads and doing drugs and doing criminal shit all right somebody's all up in their head here eight of swords why why are they why are they in this eight of swords energy why are they in this eight of swords energy huh somebody's name could be dan or daniel knight of pentacles because their money got funny come why is this here yeah, they're definitely on the run. But I feel like, oh, a Knight of Pentacles. They could actually not even have a vehicle and be on the run. Because the Knight of Pentacles is the slowest moving knight in the deck, right? To be on the run and be moving slowly, I feel like maybe their, their funds are limited and they can't really run far. Or they don't have a lot of people, like, they can't afford to even be inside. Like, they can't even afford, like, to pay somebody, okay? Family. So this is that group. This is some of your family members, I feel like. This could be someone in your family. You could be an Aquarius. Play that funky music, white boy. I don't know what this song could be relevant for. I guess this is a white boy and that's what they're letting me know. Maybe that's to narrow it down. Maybe they're letting me know that this is a white boy here. Let me see. Oh, wow. So this Ten of Pentacles and Ten of Cups, you know, together, this is my murder for hire. It's been like that since I started doing tarot. So that's why they're on the run. Murder for hire, insurance money, white car. Now, either you could have this white car or the person on the run could have this white vehicle, okay? Somebody is definitely... Not, not I, all right? I do. I feel like they thought that they were, so because this is my on the run, murder for hire, all right? All stressed out about this because I honestly don't think they have enough money. They thought that they were going to have 2424. I think that they thought they were going to have some kind of money from this or you weren't going to be here by now. And now everything got botched, right? I mean, I may entitle this botched, okay? And so now 
they can't even afford to travel and run. I don't feel like they have enough money for even gas and shit. That's what I feel like. Play that funky music till you die. Yeah, I feel like somebody here is like, till you die. Okay. I get it. This could be like, this play that funky music could be like, I can't believe this girl figured out our whole entire story through music and tarot cards. Yes, I did. That's why I'm looking at Wonder Woman, bitches. True crime identity theft is on. Yeah, it, it's Little Caesar. Yeah, I'm telling you, I feel like this motherfucker was Caesar. I'm telling you, and on the spirit of Cleopatra, I said this multiple times. I'm convinced. 25-25. And uh, this bitch came back to destroy you this time. Okay? You and it was it was her sister, too. Okay? That was involved. So, <laughs> it's just fitting, man. I'm telling you, your story will be very similar to another lifetime if you find out who you are, which god or goddess are you, right? Because they did it to all of us. Let's see. Let me say we're dancing and singing. So I feel like at one point these people were dancing and singing and they really thought they had this shit in the bag. They really thought that this was going to happen. I feel like they could have actually spent money or taken out loans thinking they were going to be able to pay them back. They could have borrowed money off of loan sharks. And bookies and shit, or like, you know what I mean? Like, just those kinds of dudes. Mafia, that could be why the mafia thing is here. They could have borrowed money off of, like, just people you don't want to fucking owe money to. You feel me? Yeah, look at this. That, I feel like networker. I feel like you destroying this, especially if you have a um, social media page or a public platform. I feel like you're the one that destroyed this for these people. And you releasing what is destructive and preparing for your new life. I feel like this is saying prepare. We're halfway there. That's what's playing. Thank you, spirit guides. Living on a prayer. I feel like you guys are like more than halfway there, though. Somebody here is like almost there, man. Where it, where, where you're like at the finish line. Where like something big's about to go down on that side. And then something big's about to happen in your life on the upside. I've been picking this up for a while. I just really haven't been talking about it a lot. Because sometimes I don't like to jinx some shit. You know, but uh, I feel like that what's destined can't be jinxed, so... Tommy, somebody's name could be Tommy. He's down on his luck. Yes, yeah, somebody. No, I'll say. <laughs> I mean, that's an understatement, huh? Let me see. So tough. They ran away. They're running away. I feel like these people's like packing one fucking bag and look, running away. Look at this. This could be you and your person, too. We gotta hold on to what we got. I feel like what you got is each other, actually. You and your person. For those of you who are with your person, and it's just you two, and you guys are just helping each other get through this shit. I, honestly, I haven't really heard anybody else in the comments say that I feel like my dude and I, unless you tell me something different, and you're not a dingbat, have been the only two people that, that actual soulmates that have been together during this whole entire thing. I, I can't fig find anyone else that has. And maybe we are the divine feminine and the the, the prototypes because I feel like we are. Maybe that's why we're so attacked. Let's ask because I know that people aren't going to like that. Haunted hospital. So somebody could be in the hospital and they're and these. Oh, my God. Somebody could actually be sick and be in the hospital and the energy is still following them there. A 28, 28. Oh, my goodness. It's running away. Oh, light beings only. Let's ask both of these questions. Is my dude and I the prototypes of the divine masculine, divine feminine? I know it. Is this why we're so attacked? Thank you. Um, is somebody in the hospital right now and still being haunted? No. So they're not in the hospital. Are they being haunted though? Okay, thank you for clearing that up. So they're not in the hospital being haunted. Um, they may wind up in the hospital being haunted and taking that shit right there with them. But right now these people are just being haunted wherever they're at. I feel like this is saying like you destroyed these people in this energy. <laughs> 
Oh, you destroyed shit. This is like blowing shit up with your mind. Do you understand? Look at her laying there just thinking of shit, imagining shit. I feel like this is what this is saying metaphorically. Oh, it could be literally for some of you motherfuckers. Like shit just blowing up around you and you don't even know it. And you're just like, what 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 calming meditative music are we gonna listen to today? Should it be birds? Should it be waterfalls? Should it be frequencies? Uh, isochronics? Ah, uh, yo. I listened to a dopamine one the other day, uh, and when you're like so high vibing, that shit actually works. I was fucked up. I was actually itching off the opium one. Oh, that's crazy, right? telling you that that let's be cops is on holy shit so i feel like either some of these people are being exposed or they want to go oh first off there's right there we know that there were shady cops involved with a lot of this shit cops judges same thing as kanika's same thing right same exact thing the same all i want to do is have some fun yeah that's all we do right Every day I fucking dancing, having a good time, joking. If they can't, there's no suicide happening here. That's you guys, okay? His name is Billy Bill. Mac or Buddy. That Buddy keeps popping up for some reason, man. But anyway, so. What the fuck was I saying? His whole, wonder if he ever had a day of fun in his whole life. So this is somebody you're dealing with that's just like, there's another way to look at this. <clears throat> Don't tell me to laugh. I don't have money. All right. Oh, let's be cops. Thank you, spirit guides. So, besides the fact that there's crooked cops, I know it's crazy. Don't, don't. Sh sh there is. All right, I know it's crazy, but there is. I think that a lot of these people now want to turn and they want to expose the people they were working with. Be careful, motherfuckers, okay? Now it's all of a sudden like, let's be cops now because I can't do all this time. I told you. That it even actually says in that book. They'll expose themselves and they're going to turn on them on themselves, okay? They're going to turn on each other. All right. See? You can trust them. Who's them? I mean, what is this? You can trust who? What, who too? Oh, you can trust that they're getting judgment. Oh, thank you. Let's be, okay. So I feel like this is saying you can trust your guides. Okay? You can trust your guides that they're bringing judgment right now. Oh, I love this. Possibly, oh, because you're a chosen one. That's chosen, right? From a lot of people, that's the God card. And it used to be my God card, but I don't really use that word much anymore. Uh, but these three together, because that was at the bottom, just know that this is like the most powerful. Look at this shit. Hmm? Hmm? And I feel like what this is saying, oh my God, my guides don't play. For my dingbats. Or maybe even you guys that aren't, you can trust what I'm saying. That's what this is saying. You can trust them. I'm a Taurus. I am a high priestess. And I am chosen. I feel like whatever I'm saying in my in my readings, you guys can trust. I feel like my shit resonates with a lot of you. And it's not, you know, I'm listening to other people. I can't even listen to them anyone anymore. It's to the point where like I, I get everything I need on my own and I don't know disrespect. I just don't need to listen to anybody else anymore. You know, 33, 33. Are you guys light beings only? Are you guys saying that they can trust me? Thank you. About the judgment that's happening. Okay. Thank you. All right. Let's put these back. Right. So we know that. When I say that these people are being destroyed or I'm saying that you guys are destroying people just by being in this energy or that you can imagine some shit happening and there's shit going down all around you and you're just sitting here sleeping well, trust and believe that. All right. Thank you, spirit. Guys, that was pretty cool. I'm glad I put that card in there actually. No. Okay. I'm, I'm, a, I'm a, I told my dude, I'm going to be, and this is no disrespect. This is just me manifesting the most sought after reader, period. Uh, my style is too unique and nobody can copy the shit. They, believe me, nobody can copy two broke girls. So there could be two chicks that are broke that actually had money before. 
Uh, the final countdown. Oh. Da -da 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 -da. Yep, the final countdown for somebody. This came on a few times, and I've had people email me and tell me that after they have read, uh, listened to that reading where I said it before, that somebody got locked up in their neighborhood, somebody else got shot, and it was like they were like, I can't even believe it. You know, I didn't want to share that, but I actually forgot about it. Is the thing, yeah taking accountability so let's find out this could be you taking accountability or they're being forced to take accountability okay period whether they like it or not yeah they're being watched this part this this this, this is another jealousy of your son they could okay so being watched and jealous of your son gives me like a creepy feeling of them wanting to attack someone's son like i did that reading obsessed yeah Like trying to hurt you so bad. Prostitute. Why is this prostitute here? Were they trying to send a prostitute to your fucking son? Why is this? Oh, so that's right. Sober. Okay. So I feel like, you know, they may have told your son that you were a prostitute, you know, but you're sober and shit and you're celibate. We don't even care about this. I don't even want to talk about this, right? I appreciate it, spirit guides, but uh, can we talk about something else? Let's get a demon card. The final countdown. Oh. Desperate. I just saw desperate desperate and that's when people make the biggest mistakes out of desperation right impulsive moves that's where they're at right now mentally piccolis very big nose i'm immediately getting intuitively like liar all right but it could be i don't know if we've ever gotten this one either who knows let's see Beware of long-standing or family feuds allowing old resentments to linger past the time when anyone remembers what even started the dispute. So let's find out who's doing this, okay? This could be your family members doing this. Tom, who is this? Who is this? Who is this? Oh, maybe you. Long standing. Uh, maybe you're putting an end to. Okay, a Sagittarius possibly. Or you're going to be actually finding balance. I feel like this is actually saying like. I'm sorry, but I feel like if you're not a Sagittarius. If you, need, if you don't need to make up something with a Sagittarius specifically. I feel like this is just saying honestly. That you found balance after. You may you may actually be finding balance with some of your family members. I said this in the beginning though, uh, that weren't involved, that were on the fence, or maybe they were told by like people who were taking care of the situation not to contact you or something. You know, I feel like there's something Yeah. You guys, I mean, because I know it's not all of my family. I understand that. Yeah, you may have a Sagittarius coming towards you. Let me see. Tell me about this. There may be some kind of balance that you're going to have that's going to help you and your person move forward. I don't know if it's a Sagittarius. If you have a Sagittarius in your family that you know was all right, this is for you, okay? I feel like, yeah, they're going to work with you or they see that you and your person put in the work. So maybe you have a family member now that's like, all right, we see that you're sober. We see you're not prostituting. These fucking dingbats lied to us. So we're going to come here and help bring, um, find some kind of reconcile with you, right? And whatever this is, it's going to help you move forward with your person, all right? This could be somebody offering some kind of work or a job, but... <clears throat> Be, be discerning with this. Let me find out. I'm not going to ask the pendulum. I, I want to see, like, is this a legit offer, right? Like, tell me about this. Oh, all right. It looks legit. <laughs> Somebody may actually, uh, 
I'm telling you, because like you were in this four of swords and you put an end to family members that you knew were draining your energy, uh, we're just no good for you. I'm not going to go down the list. 39, 39. I feel like your ancestors are bringing in something. If it's not a family member, your ancestors are bringing in some kind of energy quickly that's going to be good for you and your person. Because you did the work. This could actually be like lottery or something. I'm telling you, I'm picking up on somebody that is destined to have this, oh my God, like this, this rags to riches energy, but there's a lot of things that were part of the contract first. It's not just, I have my awakening and, oh yeah, I'm this great. And I went, no, there's karma being cleared up. There's people getting exposed. There's contracts that needed to be cut. <sighs> Lessons to be learned and accountability, which I feel like, well, I feel like they're all just as important and they all go hand in hand. Okay. Because the lessons you're learning is about putting boundaries up with toxic people. So that that's two birds at one stone there, right? Um, and then clearing out the karma. Um, so you don't have to come back here again from other lifetimes. Because they don't tell us about these universal, these cosmic contracts. They keep all of this shit from us. And they have you focusing on religion. So you don't know anything about this. And this is why we, people kept coming back and coming back and coming back. You know, I'm going to say again, and whenever I feel like it, for those of you who are still in this Jesus Christ thing and this God thing and, and the Bible thing, like I would really encourage you to kind of like steer away towards that and start focusing on what contracts you need to cut. Um, what are you experiencing now? What seems to be a difficult time in your life? Like, or what, where, where are you experiencing difficulty? It may be something there that you have to let go or cut back on or, you know, all right. fantasy island so these people were living in a fucking fantasy these people didn't want to work all they wanted to do was just make money off of people's deaths that's it and they've been doing it for a while not just them but just all over the place they've been doing it for too long do it well and you do it good i just heard so whatever this is that you're doing not these people you do it well and you do it good i want to get one of those spiritual as fuck cards i used to actually like <clears throat> getting them for you guys. I'm just going to pull out a handful because they're all in here. Do whatever it takes to keep you comfortable. I just heard. Cut down your energy bills. So some of you are doing that shit. You don't have time for other people's shit, crazy shit, bullshit, stupid shit, fake shit, shit that has nothing to do with you. Right. You guys like, that's what I'm saying. Like you can't even read that. I'm sorry. <laughs> I mean, I know we're supernatural, but that would be tough. Right No, I feel like this is just saying like you guys do really did just kind of like put your hands in the air and say, um, I need to focus on me and bring peace. And you're like, I feel like a lot of you're like, holy shit. The sense of like Zen that I have in my life, getting rid of these people and these things that these things that come with these people and not eating before I go to bed and how much better I sleep. I don't know if 42, 42, you know, that eating before you go to sleep thing, you'll have nightmares that affects your dreams and the messages you get. You also dehydrate while you're sleeping. So it's important that if you wake up and when you're listening to these nanobots, the terminating nanobots, you flush them out through your urine. So you're going to find yourself peeing excessively. There's nothing wrong with you. You have to keep drinking water to get them out of you though. It's coming out of your, um, your skin, your urine, mucus, uh, they have to come out. So I don't know if that's for somebody that was maybe wondering like, why am I peeing so much? Is there something wrong with my kidneys? Now you're flushing those things out if you're listening to that to that video, right? But you have to hydrate while you're sleeping with all this radiation and 5G and shit. It's like, I got two huge ass towers out there. I They, I, they were not here uh, before, okay? They put them motherfuckers up in the middle of the night. They find where chosen ones are. I feel like they strategically put those things to fuck with your spiritual gifts. You can't fuck with my spiritual gifts. 43, 43. There's nothing that anybody could do to, to um, hinder my... my uh, my natural gifts, it's just not going to happen, right? I said so, because I'm in control of that. You're in control of everything in your life, okay? Everything in your life. So you don't have time for other people's shit, crazy shit, stupid shit, right? Shit that has nothing to do with you. Not, it's not my problem, right? I made a post about that. You weren't these people's problem, remember? And now they're going through a fucking, it's going to get worse for them too. And you're going to have to say, it's not my problem. I'm focused on me now, but I hope that you can get through what I just got through the way that I did. That's all you can say right? I can't, I can't do nothing for you, man. But you can say, I hope that you have the strength and you learn from what I went through 
to get through what you're about to go through like I did. Okay? Huh? I'm going to leave it at that. I love you guys. I'm coming right back. I'm going to do another one right away. Why? 44, 44. Because we're not going nowhere. Love you. Bye.